Hello everyone, this is Junaid here from Edureka and I welcome you all to this interesting session where we'll be taking a look at Kubernetes Certified Associated Certification. So without any further delay, let's take a look at today's agenda. We'll start this session by understanding what exactly is Kubernetes, its features, and why was there ever a need to develop such a tool. Moving ahead, we'll be taking a look at one of the popular certification in the market, that is Kubernetes Certified Associate. And finally, we'll look at the benefits of earning it, and then we'll also discuss some of the tips and tricks that are useful for clearing the certification exam. Before we begin, do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on training technologies. And also, if you're looking forward for online training certification in Kubernetes, please do check out the link given in the description box below. Okay, so let us now understand what exactly is Kubernetes. Well, you see, Kubernetes is an open source container orchestration system for automating computer application, deployment, scaling, and management. It was originally designed by Google and is now managed by a company called as Cloud Native Computing Foundation. It aims to provide a platform for automated development, scaling, and operation of application containers across the clusters of host. And it works with a range of container tools and run contains in the cluster, often with image built in using a Docker. All right, so now that we know what exactly is Kubernetes, let us see why was there ever a need to develop such an orchestrator. Well, as you see here in the diagram, when a multiple services run inside a container, you may want to scale this container, right? And in large scale industry, this is really tough to do. This is because it would increase the cost of maintenance of a server and the complexity to run them on side by side. Now to avoid setting up services manually and overcome the challenges, something big was to be done. This is where the container orchestration engine came into the picture. This orchestration engine lets us organize multiple containers in such a way that all the underlying mechanics are launched and containers are healthy and distributed in a clustered environment. In today's world, there are two main such engines that is Kubernetes and Docker Swarm. All right, so now you might be wondering what are the top features of Kubernetes, right? Well, I would say there are four major features of Kubernetes. First off, we have automated scheduling. You see, Kubernetes provides advanced scheduler to launch containers on a clustered node based on the resources requirements and the containers while not sacrificing the availability. Then we have self-healing capabilities. You see, Kubernetes allows to replace and reschedule containers when nodes die. They kill the container that don't respond to user-defined health check and does not advertise them to the client until they are ready to be served. Then we have automated rollouts and rollbacks. You see, Kubernetes rolls out changes to the application or its configuration while monitoring application health to ensure that it does not kill your instance at the same time. If something goes wrong, then the Kubernetes can use a rollback to change it. Then finally, we have horizontal scaling and load balancing. You see, Kubernetes can scale up and scale down the application as per the requirement with a simple command that is using UI or automatically based on the CPU usage. So now that we know the importance of using Kubernetes, you might want to showcase the skills in your resume. This is why we have something called as Kubernetes Certified Associate Certification. You see, CKA or Certified Kubernetes Associated was created by Linux Foundation and Cloud Native Computing Foundation as a part of their ongoing effort to help develop the Kubernetes ecosystem. You see, this is an online based exam which use performance based tests that requires you to solve multiple tasks from a command line running Kubernetes. So now you might be wondering what is the importance of this Kubernetes certification, right? So what I'm trying to say is like, what does the certification demonstrate? Well, you see certified Kubernetes administrator has to demonstrate the ability to basically install as well as configure and manage the production gated Kubernetes cluster. They'll also have to understand the key concepts such as Kubernetes networking, storage, security, maintenance, logging, and monitoring, application life, troubleshooting, API object primitives, and many other things. All right, so let us now understand the benefits of the CKA certification exam. Okay, so now you might be wondering about the reasons to put so much of effort in order to get certified Kubernetes administrator exam preparation. Well, there are a lot of objectives to cover. And you should know that the certification has the benefits to gain confidence. And here are some of the major concepts or major benefits that you can achieve after being certified. 
First of all, CKA certification helps you make your resume unique from the rest of the pack. Companies are relying more and more on Kubernetes, thereby giving you a unique opportunity to outperform your competition. The top certifications such as CKA bring an exceptional promise for a rise in your recommendation. The companies are willing to pay more to certified Kubernetes professionals because the certification validates the ability of the candidates to address all the professional responsibilities and requirements to perform them exclusively. Passing the certification exam is a rewarding experience that can contribute to personal growth in a long-term view. And the most important of all, going through a comprehensive certified Kubernetes exam preparation will make you diversify your knowledge and skills on this particular orchestration tool. Alright, so let me now share some of the tips and tricks that others have recommended while preparing for this certification exam. Alright, so start off by understanding the Kubernetes documentation portal. You can access K8S documentation during the exam for reference. And you can create a bookmark folder to access them directly during the examination. Make sure you're comfortable with official documentation as you're allowed to bookmark documented pages in your browser and use them during your examination. But do not access any website during the examination as only one extra tab rather than your exam tab is allowed. Attempt the questions which gives you more weightage, all right? And then try to make sure you implement more of a command line usage rather than creating a YML file manually as this would consume a lot of time during your examination. All right guys with this we come to the end of our session. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you have any further queries, please do mention them in a comment box below. Until next time. Goodbye and take care. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.